lot of them are posers. A lot of us are posers. You know, we, 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 we're, uh, we're isolated and alone. We're afraid to really be honest with other men about the challenges that we're facing. And so that having to be that strong guy, the strong silent type or whatever, not tell anybody about what's really going on in their lives, we start isolating ourselves. And we got to break. We got to break through that. We, men have to come together. We need to, you know, ride a motorcycle with this pack. We just shot another season of Long Ride Home. Uh, when you ride in a pack 500 miles at a shot, you see each other's weaknesses. You can't hide yeah. them. <laughs> they come out. We need to start coming together as brothers. Welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Kickstart that engine and roll thunder with the pack. Explore the grittiness of manly spirituality. Gain traction in the virtues. Zoop up your spiritual engine by turning adversity into adventure. Now here's Bear Wozniak. Let's ride. Wow, the, is the idea of the gift of vulnerability. You know, when, when you look at Christ on the cross, and what does Paul say? I preach Christ and Christ crucified. Paul says, I want to know nothing except the cross of Jesus Christ. And of course, the, the line everybody knows, I've been crucified with Christ. It's no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And so an authentically Catholic man needs to see himself on the cross as Christ crucified. Why? In that gift of breaking open and pouring himself out in love, he's making a gift of service and sacrifice to his wife, to his children, to the church, and to this culture. But People often see the cross and say, well, that's a sign of weakness. No, it's a sign of strength. Because it's, it's, what Paul says is when I'm weak, it's then I'm strong. And the weakness is knowing, is, is admitting to yourself that you need God's help every step of the way. Everything's going well, so I don't really need God right now. Right. My job is going great. My marriage is going great. Why do I need God? Everything's going uh, fine. But when things start falling apart, all of a sudden we're looking for God. And what did God do to me? It's God's fault. It's God. We yeah. want to blame God. God, what are you doing wrong? <laughs> I see exactly right. But it's not God because, see, God sometimes allows us to fail uh, because he goes, OK, because you need to recognize what you're really searching for, you're not. When you're looking at porn, and you're and you're cheating on your wife, and you're drinking too much. What you're really looking for is the peace and the joy that only I can give you. But you're trying to find it in the things of the world, and you will never find what you're looking for when you're focusing on the things of the world. And you know, men, and so we have to recognize that as men. You know, men uh, love a challenge. If I said to a man, "Look, climb this mountain." Uh, it may take you 10 days to climb that mountain. At the end of that, you're going to find the Lord. I don't need to pray. I don't need rules or commandments. All I need to do is be good. That's garbage. <laughs> you know, because Jesus Christ does not teach that. Nowhere in the scriptures. No, it's in the Jesus Bible. It's in the Bible. It says if you're good enough, you that, go to heaven. Uh, it doesn't. <laughs> Where is that it exactly? Be, <laughs> no, you know, what, you know what, what stories of rich young man, what must I do to have eternal life? And Jesus said, we have to follow the commandments. He lists six of the commandments. He said, I've done all those things right. since my youth. See how good I am? Mm -hmm. Did Jesus then say, dude, you're good to go. Just throw, you just, just put it in neutral, put your life in cruise control, you're just coasting to heaven. No. Yeah. yeah. Jesus said, there's one thing you have to, one more thing you have to do. Take all your stuff, sell it, give it to the poor, you have treasure in heaven, then come follow me. And he couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. Jesus says, give your life to me, commit your life to me, trust me, put me first, above everything else, and he couldn't do it. So one of the things we have to do in our... Hey man, I don't want you to miss out on your free stuff at deepadventure.com. Go there and subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. You get free video content, including the Bear Wozniak radio show, video version on YouTube before it even airs on EWTN. And you can follow us on all of our social media. Go to deepadventure.com and subscribe. Plus, good stuff happens when you support us at patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure. You get instant access to every radio show, Bear Wozniak Adventure, and our TV episodes, Long Ride Home, the instant we produce them, months before they even air. Plus, we give you all kinds of free stuff 
coffee cups, t-shirts, and other things like that, go to patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure and become our patron. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that bell.